everyone, so today I wanted to do a haul video and I actually went to both Target and Ulta so I decided that I was going to do a collective haul and put all the items just into one haul video instead of doing, you know, just a Target haul or just an Ulta haul or doing like two separate videos I was like, you know what, I'm just going to put all the products together and show it off in one haul video so I'm going to start off with the stuff from Target because I didn't get that many things and quite frankly they're kind of boring like the first thing I got is contact solution which I only got because I'm almost out of contact solution and I needed it so that's one of those kind of necessities things that I had to pick up and then I got two new contact cases because I like to carry these around with me in my purse or anything like that if I am um, I just totally dropped it if I want to take out my contacts if they're getting itchy during the day I also like to replace my contact cases because they can get kind of dirty um, so I totally just dropped it again anyways and then the last kind of boring pointless thing that I wanted to show you guys anyways this is a Colgate 360 toothbrush it came in a pack of two they didn't have single ones so I was like oh, okay I'll get the pack of two but it's a, called Sonic Power, and it's a vibrating toothbrush, but it's the size of a normal toothbrush. The reason I don't like vibrating toothbrushes is because they're so big and they won't fit in my toothbrush holder, and I really like having my toothbrush holder. I think it's really pretty, and it holds like my toothbrush and my aura brush and all that jazz. So I like having a toothbrush holder, and those big ones just don't fit in there, but this is like a little toothbrush. Like it's the size of a regular toothbrush, but it vibrates, so it's like the best of both worlds. It's like an electronic baby toothbrush I guess but um it only came in medium and pink because see this one has pink and orange the one that had soft bristles was like blue and yellow and I was like ew I don't want like a blue and yellow toothbrush so um I got the medium bristles but I don't really like medium bristles so I don't know I think that Colgate 360 should make pink soft bristle um sonic toothbrushes anyways okay then I got a Sonia Kashuk I think that's how you say the name I hope it is um I make up remover and a couple months ago I did a blog post that was called I don't like it, L'Oreal makeup, eye makeup remover, something like that. It was just a blog post about how I was using an expensive eye makeup remover and I wanted to try a new like drugstore one so I bought the L'Oreal one. I absolutely didn't like it so I you know just did a post and I was like yo don't like this you know don't waste your money on it and I asked people if they had an inexpensive recommendation for an eye makeup remover and a lot of people along with my sister actually recommended me the Sonia Kashuk eye makeup remover that looks like this and it comes from Target and most of the time it's like um, divided into two separate solutions and then you shake it up but I've kind of been shaking it while I've been showing it. Um, this was only $9 for all of this and this is actually my second bottle. So I've used an entire bottle of this and decided to repurchase which means I really like the product. Um, so if you are looking for an inexpensive eye makeup remover and you are near a Target, definitely, definitely check this one out. And then the last thing I got is the cutest thing in the little world. It's like a little baby rose garden kit thing and I think it's for Valentine's Day because it has a little heart and it says two from so I think what I'm going to do is if I like it I'm going to try it out first but it was only a dollar it was in like the dollar section of Target you know what I'm talking about like when you first walk in and there's all that stuff for a dollar that I always get trapped into getting well it was in that section and it was super super cute and I'm going to try it out and see if it actually grows a rose and if it does then I think I'm going to get these for like all my friends for Valentine's Day and put like to whoever and it's like a little valentine so anyways um i just want to show you guys because i think this is the cutest thing so it comes with a little packet of like rose seeds and it comes with soil and this tiny little pot that's so cute and it says place the starter soil pellet in a bowl or cup add approximately three tablespoons lukewarm water let the starter soil pellet absorb the water put the soil back into the pot place no more than six seeds on top of the soil and press lightly into the soil save the rest of the seeds to plant in your garden this is my garden i don't have another garden this Little pop, this is my garden. Um, place in a sunny location, keep the soil moist. Transplant when plants are three inches tall to a larger pot or to your garden. Hello, my garden. Make sure to add plant food when plants are three inches tall. I don't have plant food. I don't have a garden. Um, can you buy gardens? Like, because I know at Home Depot they like sell gardens or whatever. I think I wanna go buy a garden and put it out on my balcony because I think having like fresh flowers and fl fresh plants around are so pretty and just lively. And I don't know, I like it. so. But that is all I got at Target, and now I will go into what I got at Ulta because I love Ulta, except their brags are so crinkly. Every time I do an Ulta haul video, um, that probably totally just messed up my lighting, holding like orange up, but um, whatever. Okay, so the first thing I got are cotton balls. They're the basically U brand. I get these every single time I do an Ulta haul video. I guarantee that these are probably in it. I don't know why every time I go to Ulta, I seem to be running extremely low on cotton balls, and so I had to pick up a new package of these. And then I also got a new thing of the Johnson & Johnson um, 
value pack q-tips or cotton swabs I guess they're not q-tips because they're Johnson Johnson um but I couldn't remember if I was out of cotton swabs or if I was running low so I was like you know what those are the type of things that don't go bad and you're going to use them for the rest of your life so you know if you have to keep this box unopened until you finish the rest of them at least you have it so I got it and I did have a lot of you know cotton swabs left so I probably won't open that for quite a while and then I got the Trust Me Heat Tamer Spray that looks like this. And this is a more expensive kind of version of like the Chi Iron Guard or something like this. More inexpensive. Did I just say more expensive or more inexpensive? I don't know. But I meant to say more inexpensive. So this is a more inexpensive dupe of the Chi 44 Iron Guard. And you, it says you spray it on before you blow dry your hair and before you style your hair with heat. And it's going to shield it from um, your hair being damaged by the heat. And I've seen a lot of people recommend this and use this and say that it's great. So I decided that I was going to hop on the bandwagon and try it out and see how I like it. So I'll let you guys know how I like that. The next thing I got is something that I already had and I'm very disappointed because this one is a blue one and the one that I had was a pink one but I lost it. So when I was at Ulta I saw that they had one and this is just like a teasing brush comb type thing. But see how it has like little blue bristles? Mine had pink bristles and it was a lot prettier but they didn't have a pink bristle one. They only had a blue bristle one so I had to get the blue bristle one and I mean I needed it because I used to use my other one every day but then I lost it so I was like uh oh SpaghettiOs. So yeah I had to get a blue one and I wasn't too happy about that. Next thing I got is the Benefit Eye Bright, which is an instant eye brightener. And you put this on after you put on your foundation, but before you put on your under eye concealer. And it's like a pink stick of like shimmery goodness here. I'm going to show you guys. So it comes, it looks like this. And so you put that on. I don't know if the camera is going to pick up well, but it's like a very like light pink lavendery type color. You put it on under your eyes and it really like brightens up. I haven't used it yet, so I don't know if it really works, but it claims that it is going to brighten it up and then you put your concealer on over top of it and it really makes like your under eye circles disappear, which I really like. Another product that I got for under eye circles is the Skin Renew Anti-Puff Eye Roller from Garnier. And this is one that my sister absolutely swears by. She uses this like every day, maybe a couple times a day. And it's something that you like rub under your eyes and it helps with under eye circles. I have pretty bad under eye circles. So it's something that I'm always looking for. And it's caffeine. It says it's going to instantly make your eyes look renewed and refreshed. After using it for one week, it's going to decrease under eye puffiness. And then it says women saw dark circles diminish. And then it says with continued use, the severity of puffiness is further reduced and dark circles stay minimized, which is absolutely amazing. It says for best results, gently roll Skin Renew Anti-Puff Eye Roller under the eye from the inner corner to the outer corner one to two times. So I will be using this every day. My sister swears by it, so I'm sure it's a good product. And I saw it and I was like, I want it. Then I got the Studio Gear Hidden Agenda Concealer. And the reason I got this is because in my last video that I did on this channel, it was a foundation routine. And I showed that I was using my Laura Mercier Secret Concealer for under my eyes and for um, any of my problem areas or anything like that. And I made a joke in the video. I was like, secret concealer, what's the secret? Apparently the secret is that it's like only supposed to be used under your eyes because it has peach undertones. So I needed a concealer that I could use on my problem area so that I wouldn't be using that concealer as well. So I picked out the Studio Gear hidden agenda concealer when I walked in I actually asked the girl I was like which concealer would you recommend for you know just the best coverage for problem areas she didn't recommend this one but then I saw this one so I was like okay I'm gonna buy it and I got the color medium not sure if it's gonna match me um, the testers were all mixed up I'm not exactly sure which one was supposed to be which but I decided to take a uh, chance with this it was the second lightest shade and we're gonna hope that this matches me because if it doesn't here I'll actually try it if it doesn't, I'm going to be kind of upset. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'll match me. I mean, I know you're not supposed to test on the back of your hand because that's totally a different color than your face. Um, but I don't know. I think it'll match me. I hope it will because if not, hello, operator. Mayday, mayday. Okay, the next thing I got is one of these EOS, ESO, I don't really know how you say this, uh, but it's one of these here. I'm going to open it. It's one of these chapsticks because I see a lot of people using these and uh, one of my friends actually uses it. And she was like, yeah, it makes your lips really smooth. And you guys know that I am really into chapsticks and lip balms and all that type of stuff lately. So, well, if I can get it open, I'll show you. Oh, there's a little thing that you, like, pull down or whatever. But I thought it was so cute. And I picked the little orange one because it was the closest color to pink. They had, like, a really pretty mint one as well, like, mint green color. But I wanted the one that was closest to pink. So it looks like this. And this is chapstick. How cute is that? It's like a little Easter egg. These would be perfect for like Easter presents. Um, yeah, so you just like rubbed on your lips. I have lip gloss on, otherwise I would. Um, 
So I'm really excited about trying that. And then I'm almost done. I have like three more products. I got the Bella Bama Benefit ooh, uh, blush. And it's their new blush that they have out. And it looks like that. And it's so pretty. And it's supposed to be 3D, like three-dimensional, this pink color. And it came with a new kind of brush. It's a lot softer than like what my Hoola came with, which I like. And it, they like changed their packaging. It has a little mirror in it. I don't know. I think it's really cute. But it's supposed to be like a 3D blush which I'm not exactly sure how blush is going to be 3D because like aren't people 3D like when you think about it like right now I'm two-dimensional to you guys because I'm like on a flat screen but like in person I'm a 3D person like I have like you know you can walk around me and stuff so does that mean that you can like walk around my blush like I don't really understand what this is supposed to mean but it sounded cool and I was like you know what I want you okay then I got one of these sponges which is the super blender and it's a dupe for the beauty blender sponge I've heard a lot of great things about the beauty blender sponge and I bought one of these and I think I've showed it in a haul before but I don't know where it went so I'm gonna try it out I'm gonna see what I think about it um a lot of people say that it's you know better than using a wedge sponge or anything like that it has you know a better shape you can stipple foundation on you can you know blend concealer anything like that it wasn't that expensive so I decided that I would get it because I got it one time and I don't know where it went like I don't I don't know where I put it okay so the last two products I got are actually nail polishes and the first one is OPI sweetheart which is what I have on my nails right now so my camera probably won't focus but it's just a really pretty I feel like it's just like a really clean color that is very neutral but it goes with skin tones really well because a lot of times it just looks like you're like not wearing nail polish or something but I I think that this one is really pretty and it just has like a clean finish so I really like this and I actually got I'm gonna sneeze I actually got my nails painted on this by the way this is my sixth day on this manicure and look the nails not one chip this nail on the very very end is chipping but like considering how much I type on the computer and how much I text and all that stuff like it's okay if the very very tips of my nails chip six days and this polish hasn't chipped and obviously you know it could be whatever they did to my nails but like I don't know awesome manicure anyways so I have this color on it's the one that I picked out when I was in the manicure shop and I've got it done before but I've never owned this color so I wanted to get it myself because it's like my favorite color for spring and stuff like that and it's just really fresh and then the other color I got is actually an Essie color which I don't like Essie nail polishes because the brush is like a thinner brush and I like how OPI's brushes are so big because like I don't know it's just easier to paint for me I don't know I know a lot of people don't like OPI because of the brushes but I love it because of the brushes anyways the Essie brushes are like skinny and small and I don't I don't like it as much but they had this color and I was like that color is beautiful I have to get it it's like a very like Tiffany blue color and the camera might be deceiving you because my lighting is like crazy right now but it's definitely it's like the color of a Tiffany box so if the camera is making it look a different color um it is the color of a Tiffany box. So I think this is what I'm going to paint my nails next, even though I really just want to put Sweetheart on again. Like, I love this color. So that is my haul. That is what I got when I went shopping at Target and Ulta. And if you guys want to see me do a review on any of the products that I mentioned or do, you know, a more in-detail video on anything, a lot of the products I've never tried before, so I need to test them first. But a couple of them I've tried and I really like it. So just leave me a comment below if you want, you know, an extended video on any of the products or anything like that. And yeah, so that was my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you later. Bye.